Right, so now we're going to move on to looking at paragraph tags. We've got all our nice headers there, and you can see the H7 header that we talked about. That is um, not a valid header, so let's get rid of that. And once again, we'll do our save, refresh, and it's gone. Okay, so what if um, we want to just add some normal text there? Now, before we do so, let's take a quick look at what happens if I put some just plain old text in. Um, testing one, two, three. Let's spell that correctly. Okay, refresh. Ah, it's fine, not a problem. Now, um, a strange thing happens with HTML when you try and do something on two lines. Let's save that and refresh. Ah, HTML actually ignores line breaks. It also ignores more than one space. So if you put in a lot of spaces into your code like that, um, and then put some more text and we see what that looks like. Ah, it's only got a single space. So um, HTML ignores line breaks and more than one space at a time. So what happens if we want to um, put a line break in? Well, strictly speaking, we should put every bit of text that we have inside a P tag, um, because that tells the uh, browser that it's a paragraph and it will be, will be nicely formatted. So my first line goes here. Close P, let's just have a quick look at that. Fine, same as before. Now, if I want to put in a second line then, one way to do it is to put in a second paragraph tag. A second line here. Slash P. Save that. Refresh. Fine. Okay. That's great. So that's two different paragraphs. One on um, each other's line. But if you have a look, there's quite a big gap between those. And by default, a paragraph has a fair bit of padding um, at the top and bottom of it, so that um, it looks nice and spread out. So what if you want a bit of text to go directly below that first bit of text? What you do, you put in what's called a line break. And that's BR for break. Now, something strange has um, happened here. I've put in a BR and then I put a slash. Um, now, this is called a self-closing tag. So the line break tag, there's no open and close. It's just a single tag. Um, so it's perfectly valid HTML to just put BR there. Um, but um, we were talking about HTML and XHTML before. You need to put a slash there to make it XHTML valid. And I just quite like putting a slash there because it feels like we've we've closed the tag properly. We've told the browser that we're opening the BR tag, but then we're closing it straight away. So um, generally, I think it's a good idea with your BR tags to put a slash in um, to make them self-closing. We'll see some other tags that work that way as well. Um, okay, so what happens if we put some text after this line break tag? Um, we'll just say extra text. And we'll save that and then refresh. Okay, nice. So we've got a line break um, which has these two lines, both within a single paragraph, but one is directly on top of the other. So I've introduced three tags there. We've got the paragraph tag, sorry, just two tags, the paragraph tag and the line break tag. Now there's a third tag that I want to introduce here and there's a that's called a horizontal rule tag. And again, with HTML, we could just write HR for horizontal rule, but I'm going to put a nice slash there so that it's a self-closing horizontal rule tag. Now, if we save that, what does that do? Ah, it gives us a nice sort of line. It's a kind of separating between the two paragraphs of text. So now you've got your three new tags, paragraph, line break, and horizontal rule.